and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today we have another sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. Thank you so much DAC for sending this to me to share it with everybody watching this video. Uh, let's get into it right away. The painting that they sent to us this week is a square drill diamond painting and can you guess what it is? It's a Josephine wall called Gemini. <gasps> it's so pretty. Look at all those butterflies. So this is a 70 by 88 centimeter square drill diamond painting, which means that it is big, pretty big. You're going to watch me with the struggle in here today. Wee! How are you doing this Friday? In my neck of the woods, it is cloudy, misty, and all in all, just kind of miserable to be outside, which is great weather for diamond painting. So, let's take off that plastic cover and get into the kit. We've got, oops, that got kind of bent up. This is the little sticker that I put on the outside. We've got a tool kit. Comes with the tweezers, sharp tweezers, be careful please. Pen, baggies. The tray for the drills, a squishy, two plates of wax, and a multi-placer. And in here, we have the canvas and the drills and everything else. So, let's see what it looks like. I'm super excited. I know it doesn't sound like I'm super excited, but I am. I am just tired. It is getting later in the day. And it's been kind of, you know, when it's overcast and kind of rainy all day and you're like, Bleh. and I was waiting for the sun to come out so I could show you this better. Yeah, but that's okay. Ooh, <gasps> look at the rendering of their faces. Wow, that looks really good. So she's got like, um, I think that's a ring. That's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a lot. Look at these diamonds. We'll have a look at those in just a minute, but that's a lot of blues. So if you like blue, here's an instruction booklet and the sticker sheet for the inventory of the painting. There's 56 colors in this one. You can see there's a lot of like yellows and brown and then blue and purple. And there's three AB diamonds or Aurora Borealis. And I'll show you those in just a minute too. So we've got a moon and butterflies. This is a flower that has a pyramid inside, I think. And they're both wearing necklaces that have the symbol for Gemini on them. And you can see that here. It's quite clear. Excellent. Okay, so it looks like the painting got a little bit scrunched in the, in the box, but I'm going to show you up close what that looks like. All right, so if you can see this, there's a little bit of crinkling there, but actually this will lay flat. And because it's poured glue, there's actually no bubbles or anything like that to the glue itself. I wish I could show you up close a little bit better. Let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. See that? Now, you can see that there's these tracks here that's normal and that doesn't actually affect the glue. It's still sticky under there. There's no bump or anything like that. That's absolutely normal, but there's no tear in the canvas or anything like that. And while we're here, we can look at the drill field and see that too. And I think that my camera's overcompensating. Hang on a second. Okay. So here's the close up of the rose or the flower with the ring inside, I think, or the pyramid. I'm still unsure what that actually is. Um, let's see if I can bring this in close. It must be a pyramid. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's this thingy. That's her necklace. Let's look at her face. I see a lowercase a. Interesting. The eyes are nice and blue. Now that might look, to you or to someone new to diamond painting, this kind of looks a little bit pixelated. But I'll tell you a story. So um, the thing about diamond painting is that, and this is just a quick story, I promise. 
when you have a picture that's really super involved, like this one, the only way that you can get those faces to look exactly like the artist drew them is to basically make the picture as big as possible or to crop the picture into just the face and make that big and then you'll get all of the shading and gradation that you would see in the original. But the thing about diamond painting is that it's not supposed to be, in my opinion, an exact replica of the actual art. If you wanted an exact replica, I think that it's better to get a print from the artist or to buy the original if you have less money. The point of the diamond painting is to honor the art. And I think that Diamond Art Club does a good idea, good idea, a good rendition of taking the original artwork and then making something that's fun to diamond paint. And that looks good. But they use their own in-house artists to hand chart the diamond paintings to make them look the best that they can. Which is why a lot of the Josephine wall paintings are square drill because the squares are smaller than rounds and they lend themselves to giving you a crisper picture. Here are the sparrows. I think these are sparrows up in the top. You can see them flying away. And over here you can see the star sign, the symbol for Gemini up here. That's really cool. Now her in the front of this girl is, or a woman, person, is Wisteria, I believe, if I have my flowers right. And I really love the sash that she's holding. I think that looks beautiful. We've also got some stars and those very pretty butterflies and moths that Josephine Wall likes to paint. There's the moon over there as well. Very pretty, I love this, I really like it. The symbols on the canvas, I'll show you again. These are pretty easy to read. <laughs> I um, I saw someone in our group call this a pregnant stick and now I can't unsee it, so thanks very much for that. <laughs> These are great. Lots of alphabet. There are arrows, but I don't think those will be an issue. For things like this and this, uh, it's best to give them names so that in your mind when you see them, you immediately think, like for me, this one is pool or billards. Um, and then I just think two diamonds, three diamonds. Or this one sometimes is caution. Anyway, just... Just my advice to you. All right, let's have a look at these diamonds. If you don't wanna have a look at them with me, feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp just here. These colors could totally brighten anybody's day, I think. Let's start here. We've got two big bags of 820. We've got 414, 340 by two, three, four, five. Wow, there's five bags of 340. And there's a close up of those diamonds. And get my camera to focus correctly. 3727, 783. 33.25, 6.44, we've got two bags of this one, 7.80, 7.82, we've got one, two, three bags, four bags, excuse me, and 1.55, oh, the bag got kind of beat up, it's all right, love those purples. Next up, we've got 727, nice happy yellow. 317, 316, we've got two bags of that. 402, we've got two big bags of that too. 
677, 300, 3856, 333. Look at this beautiful purple. It's like indigo, gorgeous. 3864, 3835, 3776, 738, 3861, 938. Ooh, here's our first AB, 129. Look at how pretty. <gasps> yeah, it's like corn on the cob with extra butter, as Miss Coffee would say. Butter. <laughs> so pretty. Ugh. 437, 3841. 141. This is the white AB. The unicorn skin. Can you see how it shines brighter than the other ones? It's got the sparkly iridescent coating that the other ones don't have. Then we've got more drills. 155. So we had one, one here, two, three, four bags of 155. 796, we've got two bags. Gorgeous electric blue. 728, good compliment. 797, one, two, three. <gasps> three bags. 3746, we also have three bags. 209, 743, 792, we've got two bags. Six forty-seven, six oh five, one twenty-eight. Here's the pink baby. Oh, so pretty. Nine oh five, thirty-three seventy-one, eight ninety-five, four thirty-six. Ooh, another one. One thirty-four. It's green. I thought there were only three. I guess there's four babies. 301, 775, 945, 934, 739, 435, 907, 3834, 814, 498, 3837, and 208. Very nice. Okay, let's have a look. There are four. So one of them has the symbol N, one, N, two, and three. Okay, so number one is the pink. Number one is here. I can see it kind of coming out of the streams here, maybe along her dress and over here as well. Uh, it's also in the sash. You can see it here and there and here. So it's just highlighting those beautiful curves of this kind of sash area. Let's see, is there any up here? There's none up here. So it's just in the dress and the sash. Okay, that's the number one. The letter N is 129. And that one, where was that one? Let's have a look. I don't remember. Hang on one second. 129 is the yellow one. So that is the letter N, and I can see that in their hair. So it's highlighting their hair right here. And on her hair as well, in her curls. Pretty. You can also see the letter N here in these flowers down here. There's also quite a few down in this area as well. Got some on the butterfly's wings kind of to show uh, the light coming through. Very pretty. The next one is the number two, and that's a green one. And I can see it here in this butterfly's wing. Number twos are also in the vines here as well, and on the vine of this flower stem. There's also number twos up here in this flower crown as well. And then the last one is the number three, which is the white AB. So we're looking for number three, and I believe, let's see, if I were the white ABs, yep, in the white of the eyes, 
We've got some here in the sparkle of this pyramid, also bouncing off of the necklace here and along her neck. We've got some here in the bouquet also, as well as here in the stars that are kind of shimmering down here and here and here. So there are quite a few spots with the white. There's some right here as well in the sash. So they are spread out, but as you can see, hopefully you can tell that the enhancements are just little tiny bits of AB. And there's a good reason for that. If you put too much of a good thing on it, then it'll just drown out the rest of the painting. So you can always add more if you feel like you want more. Of course, this is your diamond painting if you choose to buy it. But this is just a suggestion is less is more. I really love I'm looking at the camera in the camera now. And I can see the the curls in their hair. It's really nice texture. You can very much see how beautiful that is. Now I know that this area with the birds, it looks a little one dimensional, but the truth is, is that there are two different symbols here. There is an arrow pointing down and then there is a diamond and they do look similar in color, but I'm pretty sure once you put the drills down, that those will not look alike and there will be a definite difference there. If we look at the picture, you can see that there were these grayish, greenish clouds behind the birds. So that's what that's about. In case you were wondering what's going on in this corner, that's definitely what's going on. You can see the birds clearly, if you look carefully but then there are gray clouds behind them. Now I'm just, I really do like the hand charting, but I would like to know what you think down below. Please, please, please let me know what you think down below. Are you going to get this tomorrow? It does release Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 9.30 for general public. If you are going to get it, let me know, or let me know which one you favor the most down below. Thank you all so much for spending time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!